if we start in 1938, we look at this uh, section of land, a square mile, and it's broken up into all kinds of little bits, and those little bits indicate where different crops were being planted. So we've got wheat, we've got oats, we've got a, a patchwork, you know, 20 or 25 different little squares here. There's a lot of farmsteads within this square mile, maybe five or six farmsteads. Each one of those has pastures. If you think of it from a wildlife perspective, all of these farmsteads have a matrix of habitats surrounding them that are good for a variety of things. So if we move to the 60s, it's still a patchwork, but we we see that there's a few less farmsteads, and that follows a, a national trend of the number of farms decreasing, especially after the Dust Bowl and World War II. Mechanization has given the farmer the ability to farm more land, and so there's probably fewer crops that are being planted here in the 60s than there were back in 1938. Then we go to, to 2010, irrigation has come into this area. You can see the tracks of at least three center pivots here. So three-fourths of that square mile are now completely all a single crop, and a couple of the, the farmsteads appear to have disappeared from the 1960s. So the, the fence rows are essentially gone from those areas, and we're really going from, from road to road. 